Hey guys, Stephen Colt of Mac here. Now, while it's always recommended to install beta software onto secondary devices, curiosity can get the better of us and we might just go ahead and install it on our primary iPhones or iPads. Only problem is, betas have bugs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade an iOS 11 beta back to iOS 10.3.2. So let's get started. Prior to installing the iOS 11 beta, you should have made a backup of your device whilst it was running iOS 10.3.2 as this makes it super easy to downgrade. If you haven't though, don't worry, all is not lost. First of all, you'll need the iOS 10.3.2 IPSW file, which is essentially a software update file. I'll leave a link in the description down below thanks to the awesome website ispw.me. Next, head into settings and iCloud to turn off Find My iPhone or iPad and then plug your device into a Mac or PC running the latest version of iTunes. Within iTunes, select the device and then option click on the check for update button on a Mac or hold shift and click if you're running Windows. iTunes will then open up a new window for you to select the iOS 10.3.2 software file from wherever you're storing it, which is most probably in the downloads folder. Make sure to click on check for update and not restore as choosing the wrong one will result in wiping all of your data. If you backed up your iOS device prior to installing then you can click on restore backup from the selection below. Once you've chosen the file iTunes will take a few minutes to downgrade the operating system and will put your device back onto stable iOS 10.3.2. Well that's it for this video, if you've got any problems let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, if you found this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.